Toy Story 4 is closer than ever before, and we recently got the official reveal of Bo Peep's new design. She was absent from the third movie with little to no explanation as to where she went, but this will probably be answered when Woody and friends go on their road trip adventure soon. Still, even though Bo Peep is back and everything is nice, PETA isn't too happy. Yeah, it seems like we can't go even a few months without hearing about him protesting for weird things to change, and while they do have good intentions, that doesn't always show through their actions. The example that comes to mind first is probably their fight against Tanuki Mario, which really makes him look like a joke, but oh well. The newest example of PETA's displeasure with the world is the object Bo Peep holds in Toy Story 4, a shepherd's crook. In a letter to the Toy Story 4 director, PETA member Lauren Thomason expressed her disappointment with this character design. I'm contacting you today about Bo Peep's new look. Given that she was designed to have a modern look, why hasn't she lost that outdated and cruel crook? You may not know that these shepherd's crooks are used solely to hook a sheep's neck and force these gentle animals to move. That isn't something that a progressive Bo Peep would countenance in 2019. At PETA, we're working hard to change the way in which people regard and treat animals, including sheep. Our exposés are heartbreaking and show that sheep are routinely punched, kicked, dragged, and stomped on when they're shorn by workers who are paid to work quickly and remove a lot of wool in a short amount of time. Surely you can agree that a symbol of domination over any animal is a thing of the past and not something that belongs in Toy Story 4. Won't you please consider removing Bo Peep's crook from the final animation? Alright, so let's talk a bit about this. Does PETA have a point, or should Pixar just keep the shepherd's crook? Well, first of all, it's probably worth mentioning the target audience of these films. Little kids who watch for the entertaining story and fun adventures. I highly, highly doubt that many of these kids watch Toy Story and look at Bo Peep's crook to say, Whoa, mommy, look at that! It's a shepherd's crook and it hooks the sheep's neck! Yay! There's also the fact that this character is based off the same one in the nursery rhyme, and holding this is literally a part of her design to define who she is. Removing Bo Peep's crook in Toy Story 4 would take away a huge part of her character, but what about looking at things through Peter's perspective? It seems like what they're saying kind of makes sense because yeah, a shepherd's crook hooks sheep's necks, and that's not treating the animals in the best way possible. Still, there's no way Pixar meant any harm by including this because it's straight from the nursery rhyme and Bo Peep isn't mistreating sheep in the movies. Say, isn't that mistletoe? Mm -hmm. Ooh! Also, what about dog collars? Should we just randomly take away all those from every movie ever? This whole situation seems more like nitpicking than anything else, which is pretty common for PETA. But in the end, whether Pixar should listen to them isn't up to me. If I had to put my two cents into the matter though, I would probably lean towards not removing the crook. Many viewers aren't aware of what it's specifically used for, plus by this point the movie is extremely far into production if not entirely finished, so taking it out from the final animation may not even be possible. Do you guys think PETA has a point here, and that the design should be changed? Or should Bo keep her shepherd's crook? Let's talk in the comments section. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.